Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. All right. So, oh my gosh, it worked! Holy cow! So, remember the other day we showed you guys the wet, heavy snow in the video? Ah, look at Jamie's face! <laughs> so, Jamie modified his snowblower after he watched that. It's crazy! Jamie modified his snowblower after watching a video on YouTube because it doesn't throw the wet heavy snow. Maybe he'll have to explain to you guys what he did. But I think it works. It is chucking that wet heavy snow so far. <laughs> the look on his face is priceless. This is so cool. He was waiting to test it and we got that snow yesterday. And uh, so he gets to test it. That's insane. What do you think? Daddy out there chucking the snows? Yeah, he's out there chucking his snows. I better get a video of it and send it to Dan. So while Dan was here, Jamie fixed his snowblower. Well, not fixed it, but like I said, modified it. And now it's uh, it's throwing that snow. Maybe we'll be able to put like a clip of what it looked like last time versus this time. <laughs> okay, so Jamie's gonna kind of explain what he did. So in here are impellers. And there's three little impellers that send the snow. These grab the snow and send it to the back. And then it's like a fan. It just spins and it throws the snow out. Right. Well, I did a, a modification to the impellers and I put a rubber piece, just a chunk of a... I don't know if you get, yep, you guys can see it right in there. There's yeah, a bolt. you can see the bolts that's got a little rubber flap that I added to that. Because there, there was like a half inch gap right. all the way around. Right. So the, only, the best way I explained it to Dan was you know how you put your straw in a drink and you put your thumb on the straw and you can pull up the drink right and all the liquid is in there right well that's what I've done I've created a good seal right just like your thumb before it was like having a half of a thumb so you'd put the straw down on the drink you pull it out and the liquid would you know just didn't have a good right a good but now I added that impeller and it just is uh it's crazy. It's crazy. The look I mean, on your face when I was inside was the best. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, holy cow, it throws it like twice as far. Maybe, yep. yeah, like literally twice as far. So normally Jamie would start in the middle of the driveway, which you can see he still did, and then snow would end up, you know, it would kind of pile over yep. here, and then he would start to do this, and it would continue to yeah, throw. I, I always had to go the other way. from the middle, and that would barely make it to the edge right you know right. and then i'd always have to come back that edge and clean off and it'd be heavier it. because it threw all the heavy snow yep yep and it's it's not super heavy today but it's i mean and it's not, wet and it's there's dripping not a ton of it but it is it is wet so yep. it should nice I just, job i just couldn't believe that that uh, <laughs> that's crazy thanks youtube <laughs> yeah right and i and all i did was search how do i make my snow blower snow throw farther yep wait throw snow farther yeah that <laughs> And uh, it said, do this uh, impeller modification. And I'm like, man, I don't know. I got to figure all that out. But I had a junk tire. Yep. And I'm like, I could I could probably do that. Yep. So, lo and behold, there it is. I did it. All right. I'll, I'll let you finish your driveway now. All right. Good job, hon. That's crazy. I'm, I'm still in. I know. I can tell. And in, in the one guy on the internet says, you'll be the envy of all your neighbors. Yeah, you're going to be. And for sure, anybody that watches me is going to be like, man, I wish my snow blower through that far. <laughs> You must have a really good snowblower. <laughs> nope, just a cheap old craftsman. Yep. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you get back to work. Right. Oh, look at you. You look so happy. <laughs> it's like, oh, so happy with the scratchy scratches. I wanted to take them dog sledding, but I just got back from the store and the road is trashed. It's very sloppy. Like, out in front of our house looks great, but up the road and the other road, you can already see. You can already see road, road. So I don't know if we're gonna go dog sledding here today. Maybe we'll go tomorrow. What do you think? Just like, I think maybe I will turn into a Memphis puddle right here. Dad pet him a belly. It was so funny seeing her do that so many times at the expo. And I think my favorite thing was the amount of people that literally said, oh look, it's a Memphis puddle. You Memphis puddle. I'm glad that our audience knows that that doesn't mean she, uh, Peas on the floor. <laughs> right. Sometimes when I say it, I never thought about it. I know. I that. almost every time I say it, my brain goes, "Somebody's gonna think I'm saying she's peeing on the floor." <laughs> <laughs> no, she never really She a just turns it into a puddle. Yeah. She turns into a slush puddle. Yeah. She says, "I'm a slush puddle because I'm white <laughs> and look like snow." Yeah. <laughs> Kira, are you excited? She's like, guys, did you know that this toy showed up at the expo? <laughs> you know, now we have like 
four of these, uh -oh. you're never going to run out of these. They can stop selling them. We'll always have one. Mm -hmm. We'll always have one. This is the best toy, you guys. This is the greatest toy in the universe. If you guys are looking for one, I'll actually put an Amazon affiliate link for it down below. I saw a couple of people at the expo after I got one. I had to tell them where they were at so they could go get one for their dogs. It's the greatest toy ever. You gotta let it go. Okay, we're not let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Boop. No. So, speaking of the fact that I oh, literally got... just said, we have like five of these. She, got the she just ripped it open. You, you got the squeaker and the rattle out of it. Now what? I mean, it's still... Oh, she's going to rip it to pieces. <laughs> oh, it still works. Like, it, it still works. But she, she got it open. Is it still fun? Is it... Nope, nope. I want to play with the inside part. Oh, no, no. Nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, I better pick that up. <laughs> so Jamie and I just finished eating dinner. This dog's in here because the oven was on. Where's the other dog? Why are you sitting at the table? I see you licking your lips. Are you hungry? You already ate your food. Were you trying to eat my food? Yeah, no, no, I would never, I would never try to eat your food after you was done eating. I was trying to eat it while you was eating, but you ate it at all. Do you think every time we eat, you get to eat too? Are you hungry? Huh? Do you want some food? That's what I thought. She's like, I am hungry. Do you know that you have to wait, like, let's see what time it is. Do you know that your dinner is not for another hour and a half? And did you know that you ate lunch two hours ago. You even got lunch a little bit late. So technically you should wait another two hours to eat. What do you think of that? Are you hungry now? Guys, I am hungry all of the times. I would eat all of the snacks. Kira's over there like, what is going on? Why are you at, it's not dinner time. I know, I know it's not, but this dog thinks it is. It's not, it's not time for you to eat. You have to wait. You crack me up, you know that? She's like, yeah, I'm cute too, so you should feed me. You're right, you are cute, and look, it worked. It, your little game, your little game of, hey, I would like a snack, it worked. Cause look, free snacks. Free snacks for you. Yeah, you're lucky you're cute. You're lucky you're cute. You're lucky your sister's cute and managed to get you extra snacks. <coughs> What am I gonna do with you puppers? What are you doing, you goofball? I'm watching Dan and Crystal bake on their live stream and Kira is down here just uh, having a little floppy fit. What are you do? Are you scratch? Oh, your bone is underneath you. Are you scratching your back on your bone or are you just flippy flopping? Are you trying to squash it? Hey, what are you doing, you weirdo? This is like a being a weirdo, what do you think of yet? Yeah, see, so her little toy was underneath there. Did you squish it? Squish it good. <laughs> Do -de 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 -de. Boop. Did you squish it good? Good job. Memphis is over there sleeping. I've been working on going through some of the mail and stuff. It's like all over the place. Apparently she just wanted to squish that. Oh man, girls, you better go in a hurry because it's raining. You want back in? Yeah, it's wet out there. Well, the snowstorm we were supposed to get tonight apparently uh, turned into rain. And now it's raining out there. What do you think of that? Hopefully it'll not all be frozen when we woke up in the morning. Or maybe it will be and we'll go ice skating down the road. Gosh, do you guys remember that? That was so long ago in a vlog. Could it? Whoa! <laughs> uh, I gotta switch cameras. Yeah, you do. Woo, yeah! <laughs> ice skating. Yep, yep, I think you are. <laughs> I think the dogs are upset we're outside. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to Walmart. No? No, I'm not driving on that, and that's for sure. I don't really think that'll happen for in the morning, but you never know. With that being said, we're going to bed. All right, you guys, we, I didn't, oh, I guess I did say it. All right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. Go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. And pew, pew.
I see you. Good night, audience.